Okay, drivers, um, if you are going on a break or going to lunch and you are going to be leaving your cab for an hour or so, so what you need to do is go ahead and go down here, touch that button, it will give you an option of short break, long break, or offline. Don't bother using short break or long break. Just go ahead and go offline. There you go. Once you go offline, it tells you you're offline. So now you can go on your lunch or break 30 minutes to one hour. So when when you come back, your tablet will actually go into a sleeping mode. It's going to be all dark. So don't worry, it's not actually uh, disconnected or ran out of battery. So when you come back and you notice that your tablet is dark because there's no activities going on. What you need to do is go ahead and touch the power button once, just touch it once. Your screen will wake up, then you'll be back onto the screen that says you are offline. And all you got to do is go ahead and book right back in, and you're ready to go again to take orders. Back onto your shift. Now, drivers, there's one more thing you guys need to understand. Now, let's say if someone hails you down on the street or if you have a pickup at the hotel line and you go ahead and start the meter. Now, your screen is going to ask you for a drop-off destination. There you go. So, if you want to set a drop-off destination, let's say the customer says take me to um, the sunset then you would select the sunset or you know the outer sunset Coe Valley you know on and on there's different districts right there so now we keep this in mind if you do decide to go ahead and set a drop-off destination the computer will read you know if you're close by the drop-off destination it will prompt you soon to clear notification then you go ahead and hit OK when it prompts you soon to clear It's letting you know you're close by so if there's an order in that area the computer will read that you're close by you have a fear on hand you're about to clear and it will shoot you that order but if you do decide to use this function make sure you select wherever you're going if you do decide to do it before moving your cab, before you know taking your customer there, you do not want to be driving and selecting this at the same time. Okay, it's not safe. Do not do it. Now you want to go ahead and select everything, do everything before you start moving. All right. Now if you don't, just go ahead and leave it alone. Go to your destination and go ahead and hit time off. Now, on the back of the screen, we'll ask the passenger to select cash or credit, all right? Now, regardless if they're paying cash or credit, do not use the drop-off bar right here. You do not need to use the drop-off bar, okay? So if the customer is paying with a credit card, they will go ahead and swipe in the back, okay? Now, when it's authorized, the front of your screen will read, payment successfully authorized when you see that that means your credit card went through okay it processed it went through you got the money now at this time you want to go ahead and tell the passenger touch print receipt on the back terminal if you don't ask the customer to touch print receipt you only get one receipt from the meter now if the customer touches print receipt you will get two receipts one for the passenger one for yourself to turn into yellow cab all right now, the only time you would really want to use drop off is you cross the bridge, you have a bridge toll, or you got a meter and a half, you want to tack on some you know extra money on top of the meter. Then you go ahead and swipe drop off. And then once you swipe drop off, you'll see the section says the fair amount, extras, which is whatever meter and a half, and then bridge tolls. You know, you'll see that on the next section that I'll, I'll be talking about. But otherwise, just go ahead and hit time off and turn off your meter. Your screen will go back to its zones. There you go, see?